Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a book review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. It is Friday. Yes, it is Friday. And typically, sometimes, I try to review a book for you on Friday just because I love books, I love libraries, I love having a collection of books, I love seeing books on a shelf. It's beautiful. Uh, I love vintage libraries, love vintage libraries. Um, but today, got something different for you. This is neither a magic tutorial book nor a magic theory book. In fact, there isn't a lot of magic in this at all but it was written by a professional magician. Today, we're looking at The Real Deal from Rod Williams. Now, if you don't know, Rod Williams is a magician out in the UK. He's a professional magician. You can hire him for your corporate events, parties, weddings, bat mitzvahs, school presentations, Cub Scout programs. Uh, he's worked alongside Mark Spellman, Richard Jones, Jamie Raven, and uh, he's worked with John Archer. He does work right now both in the secular world and in the church world, and that's kind of why uh, Rod reached out to me, because Rod knew that I was a Christian and that um, I, like him, was raised in the church, raised in a Christian home, and so he just thought, you know what, this is an inspirational book, something that uh, I might like to read, and I am passing this off on to you. So, what is the real deal? The subtext for the real deal is a life freed from the grip of addiction. So this is Rod's story. Uh, he was born in South Wales, raised Christian, went to church when he was young. His dad was a cop for 30 years, so he knew right from wrong growing up. Uh, he thought he was gonna go work in finance, but he started hanging out with the wrong crowd. He started doing drugs, started selling drugs, and of course, that led to a life of crime. He was pursuing all the things of the world, both popularity and money, and uh, he ended up losing everything and going to jail. Going to jail was probably the best thing that could have ever happened to him. It drew him back to his family, drove him back to God. He read a lot of books uh, in prison about people who had turned their lives around, and following Jesus gave him the hope that he thought he'd never have. And yes, there is his journey with magic all the way through this book as well, how magic helped him get his life back on track. And so now he's written this book, The Real Deal, this is his life and testimony. Currently, there's about 10,000 copies available in prisons all over the world. And in this book, you're gonna read about his journey, how he found hope, and how there is also hope for you. And this copy that I have, this is the 10-year anniversary edition, and there are two extra chapters. And so you can pick this up on Amazon, I believe, for $15. It's also available on his UK website, therealdeal.org.uk. That's pretty much everything I wanted to say about the book. Uh, it's written uh, just like him talking, right, him speaking. It's, it's all done in his first-person voice. Uh, occasionally, uh, one of his parents or his friends will step in and they'll write something. So it has kind of a, a neat third-person perspective in there as well. And yes, like I said, there is there's stuff about magic. Uh, he does talk about uh, magic and how uh, having that as his hobby and have something you know to give him a little bit of a uh, you know a goal, something to shoot for, was encouraging and how it gave him hope. So it's definitely inspirational. It's definitely a book that will give you a little bit of insight in case uh, that's a place where you are. You know, if you're someplace that is a little dark or uh, you feel like there, there isn't that ray of hope out in front of you, you need uh, some inspiration, something to, to shoot for, I would suggest picking this up. It's definitely encouraging and of course uh, his testimonial and yes, you are going to uh, hear about the hope that uh, Jesus Christ offers. And so if that sounds something that's like that would be interesting to you, uh, you want to read Rod's story, definitely want to head on down to his website or Amazon and pick this up. I want to thank him for allowing me to have this book so I can review it for you. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different 
designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.